Le Petit Soldat, or The Little Soldier, is the second film from legendary French New Wave director Jean-Luc Godard. It was made in 1960, but was not allowed to be released until 1963, at least officially because of the film's frank depiction of torture. I'm sure The Little Soldier's subject matter was also a part of that, as it involves the Algerian War that took place from 1954 to 1962 and ended with France losing control of Algeria. The Little Soldier is definitely not as well known or respected as many of Godard's other works, and I'd have to agree with the general consensus that it's not an essential part of his filmography until you've gotten pretty far in. Godard's sophomore effort has a much different feel from his other films in this time period. It's more dreary and less entertaining than Breathless or Band of Outsiders. It's not as experimental or bold as Weekend or Alphaville, as it lacks the stylistic or metatextual flourishes of those films. The techniques here don't draw attention to themselves like they do with the intentionally jarring title cards of Weekend or the jump cuts of Breathless. This film also has a relatively traditional and straightforward plot compared to others from Godard. It's about a French journalist and army deserter named Bruno living in Switzerland who the French government tries to coerce into assassinating a radio broadcaster that supports Algerian independence. The overt political nature of The Little Soldier also sets it apart from Godard's movies of the 1960s. The protagonist is played by Michel Subor, who later went on to be the narrator in Truffaut's Jules and Jim and have a supporting role in Alfred Hitchcock's Topaz. He does well enough here, but the role doesn't require that much. Subor also gets to speak the most famous Godard quote of all, saying that cinema is truth 24 times a second. Bruno's narration is often absurdly descriptive and specific, and he sometimes literally just describes what we see as it happens. Bruno falls in love with a young Danish woman named Veronica, played by Anna Karina, Godard's first wife. This was their first collaboration, and she'd go on to star in many of his early classics. She's charming and, like Subor, serviceable, but her performance is nothing special. The cinematographer Raoul Guitard returned from Breathless, and he later collaborated with other iconic French directors like Francois Truffaut and Jacques Demy. In The Little Soldier, they use handheld camera work and plenty of whip pans and go with a naturalistic visual style that never feels showy. The sound design is quite minimal as outdoor scenes don't really have ambient environmental noise, and instead we just hear the important sound effects. Like with many of Godard's films, there are lots of references to classical music and art, and the characters talk about painters like Paul Klee and Vincent Van Gogh. This may come off as a bit pretentious, but that's obviously par for the course when it comes to Godard. Overall, The Little Soldier is certainly worth checking out, but don't expect it to blow you away. That's all for this review. Please don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for listening.